I've enjoyed the tiny bit of night verses I've heard before. This song I've never heard before, it's called Vice Wave. Thank you to Craig Billow uh, for recommending I check this one out. So it's five minutes long. Let's see what it's like. And go. Bit of lead guitar to start. Nice effect on it in the lower notes. Cross stick and hi hat. Crisp and busy. I like the slight open on that cross stick. Mm. The bass is entered. Throw it into harmonics of the guitar, nice. Busy on the drums. They're quite subdued. Not full energy. Mm, we're building. Bit of delay on that guitar, it's nice. We've shifted gear. Nice. That's a beefy guitar riff. Riff chord, really. A man is like a computer. He is programmed by heredity and environment. To the extent Some synthy layers in here, I'm to say. More than a computer. He is a form of life. Props to any drummer who decides this section just needs a kick drum. Everything else can wait. Comes with a hi-hat later on, but... Okay! Interesting drum pattern there. I don't expect the snare to come in. Nice. Ah! Oh, the double kick after that. Bell. Oh. Time signature. Bass. No, oh, the snare hits kind of match the accents in the bass. <laughs> Oh, oh, the tone of that guitar is fucking great. Is it muted? Amazing. Woo! Love that little bend of the string. Yeah. Ah. Love the place with that floor tom in there. I keep thinking of Tool, but with more energy, more tempo. A man is like a computer. To this is epic. He is creative, he is Suck it to me. Computer. He is a form of life. Oh, he sucks it to me. I didn't expect the double kicks. <laughs> I mean, the visual is disturbing. God, fucking heaviness. Crazy time signature on that. I get that bit. But it's that extra one.
creepy fucking shit, guys. She does not let me sleep. Her eyes are always open. She does not let me sleep. Her eyes are always open. Okay. She does not let me sleep. Thank you for the nightmares. Um, <laughs> that was dope. That was so dope. Um, I, I, for some reason, obviously, that was a non-vocal kind of track there. There's some spoken word recording playback of some, uh, yeah, spoken stuff there. But I'm, like, generally not that keen on just instrumental music. I really like what a uh, vocal performance can do to kind of tie things together. However, with them, I, I make an exception. And I say this because there's bands like uh, 65 Days of Static who are great. They've got some really cool stuff there. But it's, it's kind of overly, uh, in my view, opinions, um, complex for the sake of it. It's confusing and, and strange. Now, they had some odd time signatures here in this. But still, the song had power and impact. The recording, the mix of that had such oomph and balance through the, the bassy notes as well as the high. And variety of uh, tones and you know, the kind of layers of putting on the guitars. Choices like the percussion, I think, really is what makes this stand out. Um, I, I think it's Eric and Proto, right, on the drums and that. Just phenomenal creativity. Um, keeps you guessing, but also has the essential of like what will hook you into the beat. There's moments there towards the end where you got that crazy time signature where the bar lengths seem to, the qu quantity of bars per pattern seems to change. But they'll throw in like a bell. So you kind of get a little bit of a sense of, hey, I'm locked in here. And then you'd hear when the bell would change, seemingly in an off beat, it's because the bar just changed like halfway through. So that's really cool. He kind of gives you hints as to what's happening whilst also doing something complicated, whilst also giving you a bit of a groove uh, to it, which is, uh, I fucking love that. I really like the way that was, that was recorded and put together. It was, yeah, just a bit of a masterpiece in my view. That was fucking dope. Um, so I don't mind that there weren't any vocals. If there were vocals on top, like a Maynard, I think it would just be incredible. But that's just me. That's my own, my own shit. But I just thought that was absolutely amazing. Loved that. Really enjoyed the bass as well, uh, in particular on that. I've not really paid enough attention to that one before, perhaps. But very good. Really, really nice. Um, well, that was a treat. I enjoyed that very much, as you probably saw. Thank you, Craig, for the recommendation there. Um, keep them coming. And if you want to see more from me in future, Feel free to join, have a wonderful day, and maybe I'll see you in another video.